welcome back to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you a day in the life. 13 horses. That is quite a lot of horses. Don't really know why I got myself into that, but <laughs> don't get me wrong, I do love them all. So let's get into it. The first thing I do when I get to the barn in the mornings is check on my animals. I make sure they all have food and water and that they are all cared for properly. After that, I turn on all the lights, open some doors, just to make it feel more homey. I've got a little bit of time before I have to bring the horses in, so I decide to head to my office to get some work done. <laughs> After things are better in order, I go and grab the horses so that they can come in and get a little bit of hay. Okay, I just finished bringing all the horses in and they are now happily eating. I have a little bit of time before lunch, so I think I'm just going to school one of my horses. I did let him eat for a little bit, so he had a little bit more in his stomach. I think I'm going to school Jet today, so I'm going to go get him all tacked up and ready. Okay, I have Jet here all ready to go. I'm just going to grab his tack. Actually, first I'm going to give him a little brush off. Just to make sure he's extra clean. Other side. Okay, I'm going to go grab his tack. Did you just, seriously, now I have to clean that up. Also, I did just add three new stalls and the tack room is having a little bit of difficulties right now. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm gonna fix it up soon. I'm probably going to expand it into this area just to make it a little bit bigger. We also have Archie over here. But yeah, these three stalls are brand new. Okay, I actually don't have a tack box for Jet as of right now. But I think that Polaris' saddle should fit him nicely. They're both wider horses. Okay, I'm gonna grab those, and then... What color? Ooh, I like purple. I'm thinking we should do purple today. Okay. 
and stick that on. Oh, you look spiffing in purple. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna bridle him quickly. There we go. Okay. Pick that. Here, do you want to sugar cube? There you go. Okay, as I've mentioned before, we don't actually have a mounting block. So we're gonna have to get a little creative here. It'll be okay though. on. I'm probably just going to do some light work today, maybe a bit of pull work and just some flat. Jet, he's quite green, he doesn't jump yet, so we're just going to get the basics down before, you know, making it too advanced. I just finished schooling Jet. He was a very, very good boy. It was his first time going over poles. He is planned to be a jumper, obviously, if he tells me that he does not really enjoy that. Obviously, I will find a different discipline that he will enjoy more, but that is the plan for him right now. Polaris's tack fit him very nicely, so that was very good. But yeah, he was a really, really good boy, so I'm very proud of him. Okay, I have a little bit more time than I thought I would. Schooling him did not take nearly as long as I thought. So I'm going to quickly go muck out the pastures before I give the horses their lunch. mucking out the pastures, I then go around making sure all the horses are happy and have plenty of hay. I gave the horses more hay or water if they need any. And I think that that means that they're set until dinner now. 
Because I've got a little bit of extra time before I need to head home, I'm going to school Atlas over some jumps. Atlas is my main lesson horse right now. Actually, my own, only lesson horse. I am planning on expanding my lesson horse program. But as of right now, we have Atlas. Most of my students at the moment, though, are not quite ready for jumping. So it's good for me to school her every once in a while just to keep her fluent in it. I have a small pole work activity set up in the indoor ring that I was using for fairy. I'm quite tired today, so I think that this amount would be enough. Atlas does have a problem to tend to rush the jumps when we jump, so I do think that this would be much beneficial for her. quirks and she can be a little sassy at times but she's really sweet to the kids and at the end of the day she's a really great mare
is now time for the horse's dinner. I'm going to quickly go make it and then give it to them, and then I think I am going to go home. Okay, everyone, I just finished my day at the barn. It is now around 6.30ish. I just gave the horses their dinner, checked up on everything, and made sure that they were doing all right. I hope you enjoyed this little barn vlog. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know. I'm not actually sure why there's a sign behind me that says archery, but you know, <laughs> it just adds to the decor. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all have a beautiful day. If you would like to help me out a little bit, I really do appreciate subscribing and liking the video, it would really help me out. Thank you all for watching, I really, really do appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and remember to be kind to everyone, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye!